Today, I will show you how to make an easy outline map for your next travel videos. first thing you need to do is to go in and uh, get yourself a vector map or a SVG file of a vector map. Uh, you can go online and uh, you can go into mapsvg.com and uh, you can find maps. But the problem with this map is that it's not an outline, it's just a solid map with uh, all the counties in Norway. And, um, it contains way too much information for uh, the ease of use in a project if you just want an outline map or a field map. You can of course go to many other sites, but uh, all the maps I found that works good are behind a paid wall or stuff like that. So you can go into my Buy Me A Coffee page. I do have all the outline maps for Scandinavia. I have Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark and Iceland as a standalone map and you can go into um, and I have a whole combined map with the whole of Scandinavia. You can go in and download for free. It doesn't cost you anything. So um, you're free to use those files as ever you want. I just want to point, point out that I made all these maps myself in a uh, factor program like uh, Affinity Designer and I just took a screenshot of uh, Scandinavia through Google Maps. And I had into in Affinity Designer, open the screenshot and I used the pen tool to just go around the map and to make an outline for each and every map. So it took a little bit of time but uh, I found out after trying a lot of different, uh, different variation I found out this to be the easiest way to get the map feature I wanted. And with those files installed on your computer you can head over to DaVinci. So here we are inside DaVinci Resolve. I go into the effects library, to the toolbox, and over to effects, and I take the Fusion composition and drag it down on my timeline. And now I head into Fusion. The first thing I do inside Fusion is to add a background. With the background node selected, I'm gonna attach this to the media out, and I'm gonna go into the inspector panel, and I'm gonna drop the alpha all the way down. This makes it transparent. With the background node selected, I'm gonna add a merge node. And now I'm gonna import the SVG file you just downloaded and installed on your computer. So I'm going on all the way on the top, on the Fusion, and I go to import, and I'm gonna import the SVG file. I'm gonna do Norway with white outline. And I'm gonna do approximately 1500 and now you see I added a group and the group is only a white background you can see in the inspector panel with a polygon mask so when I attach this to the merge you see I have the white outline of the map and this is the easiest way I found to make an outline travel map for your videos. If you would like to see how I made one of the animated maps in the beginning of this video, just stick around and uh, watch the whole video all the way to the end and I put in a how to and how I work in Fusion uh, at the end of this video. I want to say thank you for all the support and uh, I hope you find this video useful and uh, yeah, take care, I'll see you in the next one. Transform node, just to make it fit better to my project. And I want to make, uh, I'm gonna show you how I made one of the callouts in uh, the video you saw in the intro. 
So with the transform node selected, I'm gonna just adjust the map just a little bit more, or I think I'm just gonna use the southern part of Norway. So I'm gonna blow up the size a lot, and I'm gonna move it to fit better. I want to add a drop shadow, like I always do, to kind of make the map pop out a little bit more. So, with the group selected, I'm going to have shift space, and I'm going to search for a drop shadow. And with the drop shadow selected, I go into the inspector panel, I'm going to just the blur all the way down, and now you see the outline much, or the shadow much better. I'm going to hold the command key, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to place the drop shadow closer to the outline and now I want to make the call out I want to have a line go out from the map and reveal some text to make that I want to first make the ping on the town where I'm at so I add a new background node and I merge that together with the background node selected, I'm gonna change the color to white. I'm gonna add a ellipse mask. I don't want the circle to be solid. I want it to just be an outline. So I go into the inspector panel. I uh, remove the solid and I increase the border width. And I want to adjust the circle much smaller. I go into the width, I double click and I do the uh, equal sign on the keyboard and hit enter and that will put down the expression uh, box or what to call it and I just drag this plus sign over to the height so every time I adjust the height I always adjust the width as well. When I have found the um, uh, proper size I want to animate this. I'm gonna go make a keyframe here on the level and on the with now the height and I'm going to go 10 frames ahead and I'm going to increase the ring a little bit yeah something like that and I want to take the level all the way down and I want to go 10 frames back and I want to adjust the height all the way down. So now I have animated the circle. You see it slowly fades away. But this is just one, um, one ring and I want the ring to kind of have a ping or like a sonar. So to do that I go into the node tree, I press shift space and I search for a time speed node. What this time speed node does is it makes a delay on whatever thing I use. So I will add this background, the circle I want, into the time speed. And I want the time speed to go back into the background and, end, and that makes a merge node. So I have a background that is connected with the merge and a through a time speed node. And this will make a little delay. So I will bring it up to, I think I go for six. I think that was a little bit better. And now I want to make the call out and I want the call out to start in the middle of the circle. And I want it to start with with at the same time as the second node, the second ring starts to go out. So I add a new background. I merge this together. And I'm gonna change the color to white. And with the background node selected, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna hit shift space. I'm gonna search for mask paint. With this mask paint selected, I'm gonna go over to a polyline stroke. I'm going to go over in the inspector panel to the brush controls and I'm going to go from soft to a circular. And I want to lower the brush size. And I will bring it down like this. And with the shift key 
still hold down, I will press the key again, and this will make a straight line, not a little bit angled one. And uh, this, it doesn't matter how long, I can adjust it later. So I just want to find roughly a good uh, size of it. And I want to add a text on top of this line, text node. And I merge this together. And with the text node selected, I'm going to write Bergen. Of course, you can use whatever font you like. And I will bring this down to the line. And you see the line is a little bit short. So we're going to go back to the mask paint. And I'm going to adjust this line just a little bit. And now I want to animate the line out. So I go into the to the line and see just where it pops here. So I go into the stroke controls in the inspector panel with the mask point selected and I write do the write down, right on and off all the way down. Hit the keyframe button. 20, uh, let's try 20 to 67. And I'm going to write this all the way on. So when I watch it, you see the line comes out. It takes a little bit time to render. Yeah, that wasn't too fast. But I want the text to kind of ride on when the line is hitting the... And to animate that, I do put in a rectangle mask inside the text. And that means inside the rectangle I have on the here is where the text is visible. So I make this box much smaller just to drag the handles. And I'm going to bring it just above. Now I'm going to animate this mask. So at the frame when the line hits the bottom, I want this to start animate. So I'm going to drag this outside like this. And I'm going to hit the center in the inspection panel, or the inspector panel. And I'm going to go a couple of frames ahead till I reach the end of the line. And then I'm going to bring this all the way in. So now I have animated the line, I have animated the text and the ping. So now I will see how it looks. Yeah, and I can keep adding this and stacking it like this, just copy and paste further down the line. And I can, of course, animate the map to zoom out. And to do that, I want to put a transform node all the, all the way at the end. With the merge 5 selected, I hit a transform node. And this will make everything behind the transform node scale accordingly. So if I zoom out this, you see the text and the outline will move together with it.